Comic book collectors will have the rare opportunity to own publications directly from Batman co-creator Bob Kane's personal collection as his library goes up for auction. These were Bob Kane's personal copies of the first appearances of Batman in Detective Comics 27 and Batman number one. So we have Detective Comics 27 through 45 and Batman 1, 2, and 3. And these came out of a ring binder. They were bound in a ring bound binder. And we uh, decided uh, with the consigner to open up the binding and to individually grade each and every one of these comic books so that they could be available for customers to bid on in our auction. Zerzlow expects Detective Comics 27 and Batman number one to fetch nearly $300,000 each at auction. Yeah, I mean, any, anybody can have a Detective 27, anybody can have a Batman number one, but not everybody can have the personal file copy of Bob Kane's. It's pretty amazing. The Batman number one and Detective number 27 will be on display at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California for the 75th anniversary celebration of Batman. The sale, which the company holds four times a year, also includes a rare Hulk number one issue. Um, what makes this comic book so valuable is that it's an extremely high grade. It's a 9.2. Now, there's a census that tells you how many copies are in the, in the world. Um, this is the second highest graded copy in the world, but the 9.4 is buried in a collection and will never come out for sale. So for all intent and purposes, 9.2 is the highest graded copy. Archie Comics continue to be huge sellers at auction, and Zazerlo says this sale shouldn't be any different. Bidding for the sale, which also includes artwork and lower priced items, will end on August the 29th.